Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll try to get him to go. No, he's still obsessed with the serial killer guy. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? I'd love to see you try. Okay. Loves. Come on, I was watching that. And now you're paying attention to me. What's wrong? The power's out. It's just a little mood lighting. No, 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 this could be serious. You really know how to turn a girl on, Dave. The power's out in the whole block. I'm getting my drink. Jill? Hey. Yeah, he's freaking out. It's the blackout. <laughs> Typical Dave. He's always trying to make something out of nothing. You guys should come over. No, I'm all alone. They're up north at that conference thingy. They don't get back till Monday. Uh-oh, party at Jill's place. Oh yeah, and that stunt you pulled with Jacob, I'm pretty sure he's never gonna talk to me again, so uh, thanks for that. <laughs> no, okay, you can just stay at home with Dave if you want, but I'm not having people over. Last time was a total disaster, and I really don't want to be grounded for the rest of my life. It's really not fair that I'm still living here, you know? I'm pretty Jill? Jill, are you there? We must have got disconnected. Hmm. That's weird. What? Do you think the phone companies are having trouble as well? No, the phone company has nothing to do with the power company. Besides, even if it did, cell phones would still work. Did you check the battery? It's not my phone, it's Jill's. We were talking, we got disconnected, and now it goes straight to voicemail. Lock the doors. What's wrong? Dave, will you tell me what's going on? You're kind of freaking me out. Here. We're gonna stick together, okay? What did you see out that window? Nothing, all right? It's totally black outside. That's what worries me. Is this because of those news reports? It's probably nothing. How often does Jill shut off her phone? Not often. Exactly. She's the most annoying phone addict I've ever met. Well, you're being kind of rude. She picks up the phone during sex. Look, I think something might have happened to her, right? And I don't want anything to happen to us. So we're going to stay in this apartment together until the power turns back on. We have to go help her. What? Are you crazy? We're not going anywhere. She's my best friend. If she's in trouble, I'm gonna help her out. I mean, we're gonna go over there ourselves and see that she's alright. There's no chance in hell. Dave, come on! What? Call the police. I mean, they're trained to handle these types of situations. Well, what if they get there and she just answers the door? Well, then we'll go down that road when we get there. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report... Well, I don't really know what I'm reporting. It's just my friend won't answer her phone and I'm really worried about her. Well, we got disconnected and now she just won't answer and there's these blackouts and... Yes, I understand. It's 21 East Yale Avenue. Thank you. They said they're gonna send someone over in 45 minutes. I guess they get a lot of calls like this during these blackouts. Yeah, they'll get it sorted out. I don't like it. Look, there's nothing we can do. We can go over there for ourselves. I mean, if she's all right, then we have nothing to worry about. But if she's in trouble, it's just 45 minutes is too long to wait. I'm going there now. You're not going anywhere, right? It's too dangerous. I have the keys and I'm going. If you're worried about my safety, you can come too. Amy. Amy. Wait. I've got a bad feeling about this.
Jill. 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 I'll call the police. I already called them. Remember? Yeah. Well, I think letting them know bodies here will get them here a little quicker. I can't be in here. Don't go far. Yeah, I, I'd like to report a murder. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Okay. Okay, we'll stay right here. Amy. Amy, they said they have a car in the area and they'll be here in less than a minute. Amy? Amy, it's okay. Please, 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 no. 